The Boeing X-32 is a concept demonstrator aircraft that was designed for the Joint Strike Fighter competition. It lost to the Lockheed Martin X-35 demonstrator, which was further developed into the Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II. The X-32, therefore, was designed around a large one-piece carbon fiber composite delta wing. The wing had a span of 9.15 meters with a 55-degree leading edge sweep and could hold up to 20,000 pounds, 9,000 kilograms of fuel. The purpose of a high sweep angle was to allow for a thick wing section to be used while still providing limited transonic aerodynamic drag and to provide a good angle for wing-installed conformal antenna equipment. The wing would prove a challenge to fabricate. However, this choice required the engine to be mounted directly behind the cockpit and move the center of gravity forward from its usual position in jet fighters towards the rear of the airplane to enable a neutral attitude hover. Boeing had proposed a similar supersonic fighter with a mid-center of gravity mounted engine with vectored thrust nozzles. A knock-on effect of this large intake was the potential direct visibility of the compressor blades to radar. See radar cross-section. Mitigation possibilities included variable balance, designed to block incoming radio waves without adversely affecting airflow. Engineers altered the aircraft's design with a conventional candid twin tail that reduced weight and improved agility, but it was too late to change the aircraft. It was judged that they would be sufficient to demonstrate Boeing's technology. Due to the heavy delta wing design of the X-32, Boeing demonstrated STOVL and supersonic flight in separate configurations, with the STOVL configuration requiring that some parts be removed from the fighter. The Lockheed Martin X-32 concept demonstrator aircraft were capable of transitioning between their STOVL and supersonic configurations in flight. The X-32 during the initial stages. During the flight, the aircraft reached 10,000 feet, 3,000 meters, attained a speed of 200 knots, 370 kilometers, 230 miles per hour, and attained an angle of attack of 13 degrees. Employing a direct lift thrust vectoring system, the X-32 reached top speeds of just under 1.6 match. The X-32 internal bay loadout supported six AM RAAM air to air missiles, or a combination of up to two air to air missiles and two bombs. Despite their significantly different designs, 